What about Liverpool? What about your team so far this season? Well, listen, I, I mean, we've got to be happy where we're at. It's, it's really funny because, obviously, with Jürgen going and all of the emotion around that, Arnie Slot's just come in and just has played the blinder. You know, very unassuming. It's been great, hasn't it? Not, not been mm. crazy. Again, you know, people call him, we've got to get new players. And he's went, hang on, let me just yeah. let me just see who we've got. He's brought the best out of some of the players that we've got. You know, Graffenberg players oh, like that. Have come he's been, out. Incre- he's been incredible. Revelations he's incredible. been incredible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, Gapo, <laughs> in fact, it's interesting. A lot of the Dutch lads are getting better, whether there's a, a shorthand in communication, because even Van Dijk seems to be mm-hmm. found another gear. So I'm, 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 Obviously, very pleased. Would you be a little bit concerned? We were speaking earlier about the three boys went out of contract at the end of the season. You mm. know, I, just, I just think it's got to, it's got to be a worry. It's got, it's got yeah. to. Yeah. I mean, clearly, you don't want to lose that talent full stop, but you lose that talent potentially for nothing. But she would be a bit. Oh, be, I know it's a, it's a it's a difficult one though, mm. isn't it? Because then you know, you from get, his point of view. He's saying, "Let mm. me be, let me be the manager and manage them before we start and they don't do co- yeah. long-term contracts to people." And then you're looking at Mo and the age of Mo, but then you look at his performance. You think Incredible. his performance doesn't match his age, so you've, you he you, looks you, unbelievable. You, you, exactly. Yeah. So you give the contract to the player, not not to his birth certificates. Yeah, yeah. and yeah, I think true. he's definitely, definitely, you know, they've definitely got to sit down with them. And I'm sure that those conversations are going on yeah. now. Talking of Mo's, let's hear from a different one. Not the legend who is Mo Salah. It's the sports bar legend who is moaning Mo, who, of course, was on brand this morning and moaned about how little credit <laughs> Liverpool are getting. I think we're definitely not just capable. I think we should be talked about as title favourites. And it annoys me when nobody considers us title favourites. We have the most world-class players. We have, I'm sorry, we have more world-class players than Arsenal, for sure. Man for man, we're better than Arsenal. We keep hearing this Arsenal facade that they're going to win something when they've never won anything, when none of their players have won anything. So it annoys me. Mm. Um, (laughs) Title title favourites, do you think, John? Well, to be honest, um, I was at a... I was at the uh, European game the other day and I was talking to John Aldridge and he was in, in the, and he was saying like the great thing is everyone's talking about Arsenal Get and Man City and that's what you want you want other yeah. people to be talking I mean in reality the title may be decided in the courts you know at the moment with this Man City thing going on one of the things that annoyed me for years is I don't even know why we're playing them. I don't even know why all the other teams in the last few years have played against Man City because all of those games could be written off. Teams mm. have been relegated, people have lost their jobs, people haven't made it into Europe and all of those retrospective charges could all of a sudden change and that, sh- that shouldn't be happening. The, the, the way they've handled this has been appalling and I don't blame the players, I don't blame the manager, I don't blame the support. It's the, t- the time issue. But, but the time issue that the, the Premier <clears throat> League have allowed them to dance around them with lawyers, they should have just, everyone else should have said, sort it out, find them guilty, find them innocent, do whatever, but you can't have a season operating now where no one actually knows what the end result? I think it's a time be. issue more than then. I, yeah. I, I take your point. I look at even across Stanley Park, Everton, yeah. Forest teams have had points deducted. Their supporters must be saying, "Well, they've taken points of us immediately. It, immediately. What's the delay?" Yeah, but that's because I mean, like, I gotta tell you this, like, the, the, and I don't know how how widely this is known, but because well, I was a. Uh, the Liverpool Echo obviously reported what was going on with Everton. So Everton's situation is that they, they put their hands up because he said, yeah, we overspent because we were going to get money off somebody who ended up being put on the blacklist because Russia invaded the Ukraine. And in the court, the Premier League said, don't you think you should have anticipated that? <laughs> NATO didn't anticipate it. How can Everton anticipate what Putin's going to do? Yeah. By the way, you're all listening to the wrong programme because we wished them a happy birthday this morning. Well, no. I mean, it was Putin's birthday Putin's this morning, birthday along day, yeah. with Heinrich Himmler. Yeah. So, so, <laughs> you're and, not and, and, show and me. Simon Cowell as well. Uh, well, so, there you yeah. go. All, all the big guys. <laughs> but to me, anyway, when it comes down yeah. to... to, to Football, football's 
I'm, I'm, and it's not just it's not bitterness about Man City winning things because they have got the brilliant players, brilliant man. So it's just that if you've broke a rule and if you've got 115 charges, there's a chance you've done something wrong. And if some people have only had two or three charges and been punished. They just need to deal with it because it, it's a cloud hanging over the league. Yeah, I, I think the problem is even now, even though you know, we, you know, we know the hearings going on, it's going to last forever. Yeah. It's going to last for absolutely ever. And, isn't it? and then there'll be that's, appeals. That's what I mean. Yeah. I think. I think the only way you can take control is the clubs, and they, obviously, then that, that will go through the courts. But even supporters, even if. Even if away supporters said, you know what, we just won't go to the games at Man City or we won't, we won't. There's, there's got to be something to get it back in the hands of the people instead of it being at the moment in the hands of lawyers. Next four league games, John. Chelsea at home, Arsenal away, Brighton at home yeah. and then Villa. I think Will this you still is, be top after those yeah, four games? This is, this is the point. I mean, and Arnie Slot said that. He said, you know, we have had a gentle start to the season in relative, relatively speaking. You know, even even Man United are not the force that they mm. used to be, and that was the big game that we were thinking this will be a test. So the next few weeks is definitely going to see see where we're at. I've got a couple of gags that you won't want to use. Um, Jacob, the Arsenal fan, says the old the old Asus deodorant will smell of cigarettes and alcohol. Um, <laughs> oh. And uh, Steve Silk says, lads, I've got some Oasis deodorant. Better. It's called Some Might Spray. That's, that's, that's uh, not bad. That's, 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 not bad. That's, 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 yeah. it's, a, it's a good effort. <laughs> Uh, look, so uh, the um, the tour, the, the 25 years of stand-up, we're looking at October 2025, starts on October the 2nd, Plymouth Pavilions, whole host of dates. Where do yeah. people go if they want to get So tickets? what do you want to do? Get onto my website, John Bishop Online, yeah. sign up for the pre-sale, which will be Wednesday, and then general tickets will go on sale. On uh, on Friday, and I've actually got some twenty five year old deodorant you can buy <laughs> when I'm on tour as well. Well, well, well listen, <laughs> me, I'll definitely see you before it, but I'll definitely see you in Thursday the ninth in Glasgow. Uh, oh, by, by the way, Coisty, my tour restarts this week, and we're in Bury St Edmunds on Wednesday, St Albans on Thursday, along with a new John Travolta, Paul Merson, Wellingborough next Wednesday, and then Mason on the seventeenth. Embarrassingly, it's a hundred forty five quid a ticket. I was getting you can't get it for twenty five quid. <laughs> <laughs> uh, John, brilliant. Good to see you, pal. No, Great yeah, to see you, mate. Good luck. Good luck. Talk Sport Breakfast. Waking you up Monday to Friday morning from 6 a.m. on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app, and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.